last part of Viking Season 6 came out recently. Last Kingdom is popular and the pilot episode of Age of Vikings is out. And I bet my bottom dollar that everyone is inspired to make some Viking music right now. Taking a look at the bands whose music can be heard in the soundtracks of this series, we can get an idea of the most influential artists in this style of music. Vardruna especially is probably one of the most successful Viking bands out there, but recently plenty of new bands have emerged. I recommend you to check out the likes of Bjord, Nordain and Uppe. The genre tags these bands use to describe their music are quite varied. Technically any of these genre tags apply, but I'm gonna refer to this style of music as Viking Folk for the simplicity. It's good to start your brand new Viking Folk band by picking a suitable name. A common trope in this genre is to have your band name be just one word in a Scandinavian, preferably ancient, language. You can look for inspiration from Old Norse literature like the Edda, historical articles, or perhaps you would just like to name your project after your favorite character in Vikings. Remember to do some googling though, to find out if the precious name you already fell in love with has already been taken. Now that we have a band name, the logical next step is to create a logo for the project. An easy way that always works is to just write the name in runes. You can also create a unique logo by combining the runes in your band name into a bind rune. Before you start actually making music, it is a good idea to do some shopping for proper clothing. A tunic might not be essential for writing a successful song, but it is immersive and will help you get nicer promo pictures. And finally, we get to the meat of this tutorial. The music. Viking folk can actually be pretty simple. A common way to get that ancient folky sound is to use drones. No, not you. These drones. In music, a drone is a note which sounds all the time while a piece of music is played. Music with drones has to have simple harmonies because it is not possible to modulate to different keys. So basically you can have a note that plays in the background throughout the song, and on top of that note you play your melody. For a more melancholic or darker Viking folk song, a melody in your basic minor scale will be sufficient. And if you want something happier like a tavern drinking song, even major scales will work. Your instrument choices will greatly affect the vikingness and folkiness of your song. For my song, I'm using my homemade tal harpa as the main instrument and also the jaw harp. Both will just play the same note throughout the song, which in this case is F. Jaw harps are also quite cheap, so if you're just getting into the world of folky instruments, that might be a good one to start with. The melody for my song comes from the vocals, but you can have your melodic instrument be anything you like. Of course, the internet is full of free VST plugins of varied qualities if you don't have or can't afford real instruments. For the rhythm section, which is the backbone of the song and can give the music that ritual wipe, I recommend shaman drums, frame drums, timpanis or even toms. Keep your percussive patterns simple and aim for a massive sound. A good way to achieve this is to layer several drum tracks on top of each other or even use samples if you so please. You can add other types of percussive elements like tambourine, shakers, sticks and stones and whatever nice sound textures you can think of. For the lyrics of my song, I'm using a fragment from a Swedish translation of the Edda. There's a lot of public domain Norse mythology material online that you can use for lyrics or inspiration. For the vocals, I will do multiple layers of choir-like vocals from different octaves and then run them through a ton of reverb to make my singing sound somewhat good. A certain way to add vikingness to your song is to do this. For lead vocals, anything from clean vocals to throat singing or even whispers, spoken word or the occasional growls will work. For the mixing, I have only one advice. Lots of reverb on the percussion and vocals to get that massive sound. Master your track however you like, export, and now is a good time to put on that tunic. Maybe scribble some war paintings on your face and go get your promo pictures in the middle of the forest. Don't be like these guys though. While you're in the woods getting your promo pics, it might be a good idea to snap a shot of the snowy trees against the sky. Slap your Bind Rune logo on top of that photo and BAM! You've got a perfectly passable album cover. Honestly, these covers are getting out of hand. Now that you're done with your very first Viking folk song, it is a good time to just lay back, pour yourself a hornful of cold ale and enjoy the music.
Thank you for watching as always. Now raise your horns for the brave fallen friends and we'll meet where the beer never ends. Skål!